what a day. It's so good to be home. But where are my slippers? What? Uh… I should get myself a cup of coffee. <gasps> What's going on? Is it my eyes or is something wrong with the world? And the food, too. It's definitely not enough. <sighs> I'll watch a relaxing video. Or not? What's going on in our house? Oh! What? Susie! Is it time to welcome our guests? The alarm clock is tiny, too? Yes, of course. I'm waiting for my friend. And I prepared a room for him. But why is everything so small, Sam? Because my friend is a tippetabian! And they're tiny. Huh. I had no idea. And I wanted my friend to be comfortable. So you're going to accommodate him in there? Well, yes! No, Sam, this won't do. We should offer our guests only the best. Come, let's make a real mini house with all the comforts. Yay! Hi, guys. Looks like today, Sam and I will have to become builders, interior designers, and carpenters. We'll have to make the whole house from scratch? No, no, we'll use a special kit. Oh, then it's easy peasy. Are you sure? Well, that's a kit, right? We've used so many kits already. Guys, write in the comments which video with kit building on our channel did you like most of all. So, we're pretty experienced. We'll do that in no time. Okay, see for yourself. We need to assemble the furniture and the accessories. The house itself, install lighting. And lighting, too? I see. Then let's start. It'll be fun. You'll see. And your Tibidabian friend will definitely like it. Will we use the instructions? Sure. Oh, I'll make the soft furniture. Okay, just don't fall asleep on it. <laughs> Never. Yeah, right. Well, I'm going to start making the rest. Oh, look. We don't need to make the fridge. It's already ready. Adorable. Hmm. First, I'm going to assemble the base of the house to get the idea where the other parts fit. The first floor will have the kitchen with the dining area, the bathroom, and the living room. The second floor will have the bedroom and the study. Here we need to glue a window in, carefully. One half. And then the other one. Now let's glue this wall to the floor. I hope it'll hold. Make more windows, Susie. My friend likes lots of space, I think. Don't worry, he'll have lots of space. Let's start with the bathroom. It's a very important thing. Guys, what is your favorite room in the house? Share in the comments. Here! Sam, you're making the soft furniture. You can't call this soft. Oh, well, take a towel and a rug, too. Then it'll be soft. <laughs> I'll set it aside and make a shower cabin first. To make it, I folded some transparent plastic in half. And I'll decorate it with some strips. And add some handles. Otherwise, how can we open it? Let's hang the shower on the wall. Look how beautiful and golden it is. Let's set our shower cabin. This room is starting to look luxurious. I'll glue a holder next to the shower and place a towel on it. Of course, we also need a sink in the bathroom. Look how cool it came out. Let's set it in place. Yeah! Hear what? A special Tibidabian shower gel to make him feel good. Are you sure it's Tibidabian? All oh, right, I'll put it in. And we'll also add the mirror. We only need to install the toilet. And place the rug. Let's cover this whole thing with some walls. One. And two. The first room is done. Huh, interesting. This looks like a place for a mini patio. Patio? Oh, yeah. We'll do barbecue there. He knows how to cook. Does he? Well, then let's equip the kitchen with all the necessary stuff. Here we're going to have the air hole over the stove with a real light. Oh, that's good. Of course, my friend isn't afraid of the dark, but it's much cozier with the light. I can't argue there. Right, here we have some kitchen cabinets with a stove and a sink. And the fridge, of course. And all kinds of pleasant little things appear in the kitchen. Little things, those are very important things. 
Since the kitchen is ready, it's time to do the bedroom. How are those soft items coming, Sam? Soft items? Oh, good, yes. Then go get them. And I'll attach the base of the second floor, which has the lights for the first floor in it. These little lamps. Let's insert the wires carefully into the openings. And glue the piece. There you go! A whole bed? Awesome! As a hospitable host, I need to make sure my friend has enough sleep! And what's this? This is for the channel. Give it here or you'll crumple it! Sure, take it. And I'll add some more cozy lights to the bedroom. And this intricate carpet. Let's set the bed. And a nightstand near the bed. Oh, don't forget the curtains to hide from all those strangers. <laughs> all right, all right. The long curtains go in the dining room. And the short one goes in the bedroom. Sue, Sue, don't forget that my friend is a busy person. He needs a desk. Like this one? It'll do. Place this notebook on it. Wait a moment. Here goes the desk with a lamp. And now the notebook, like this. And Sam, uh, what about the armchair? The armchair? Oh, the armchair! A moment! While Sam's fetching that armchair, I'll add a few more details. This cute little book. And a stationary set. And also some railing to make sure nobody falls down accidentally. Here's the armchair! Great! Let's set it in place! I hope my friend won't have to jump or fly to get to the second floor! Of course not. He'll use these stairs to get to the second floor. Let's glue it in place. So, I, uh, I'm confused about the sofa. Well, you made the pieces correctly. The soft part is inside, and the pretty fabric is on the outside. We simply need to assemble it. Let's clear it and apply some glue to the base. We'll glue the big cushion and also two small cushions to sit comfortably. <laughs> and of course, no sofa can do without the back and the arms. And here's our finished sofa. Oh, phew, I thought it should look differently. Then catch more cushions! Ooh, I am. One and two and three. All there. We also need a carpet for our living room. And let's set the sofa in place. Ooh, the coffee table is a must-have. I agree. Right, Susie, I think something's missing. Something? The dining room, of course. Oh, how could I forget about this important part of the house? But there's no soft furniture here. No soft furniture? Then we'll set the wooden one. The table, really nice. And a couple of chairs. And also the cups. And some yummy treats for tea. Wonderful. We only need to add a few small details and it's done. Now we're ready to receive guests. Do you think your friend will like it? Of course, how can he not like it? And what about this? Holy cannoli, it's so cozy! I want to live here myself, but... Wrong size. But you can enjoy the view. Yeah! Sam! Hey, Sam, your friend is here! Looks like we need a bigger house. Guys, 
Give this video a thumbs up to support all unusual guests. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel to see even more adventures with our funny Sam. I just love cleaning. I hope the person who invented it was given an award for their genius invention. And anyway, how can anyone punish their own sister with these medieval methods? As if there really was a reason for that. <laughs> Hi guys! Am I seeing things or is this silly girl cleaning with Sue's favorite shirt? I need to make sure. Who knew Fluffy wasn't supposed to ride in the washing machine? He seemed to have enjoyed it. Where does it say cats can ride washing machines? <laughs> Hi, Samantha! Hey, Samantha! How are you, Samantha? Let's go play! I can't! I need to clean! So sorry, guys! No video today! <laughs> are you running a fever? Who will do the cleaning? Come! No, who told me to clean? It turns out you have to pay for your mischief! What did you do? Well... First, I gave Fluffy a ride in the washing machine. Then, I made a scarf out of Sue's dress. But the last straw for Sue was when I wished her good morning in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> oh, you're something. It would have been fine, but Sue took away my phone, my computer, and the internet for a week. Oh, that's too cruel. Cool. Who put her in charge anyway? That's right. Huh. She'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, we can have fun without the internet. For example, inflate some balloon and pop them. Give me that. Hey, I've got a black one too. It'll come in handy. What are you up to? Well, I've had this Halloween idea and it's right on time now. Yay! <sighs> I love Halloween. Yes, Sam, bring Sue's doll, please. I'm off. Yahoo! Huh, I wonder which of these dolls belong to Sue. Hey guys, what do you think? Write your answer in the comments and we'll check and see who was right. A one, a two, a how are you? A three, a four, old at the door. Five, six, my name is Fix. Seven, eight, sorry I'm late. Nine, ten, I'll say it again. Oh, doesn't matter. I'll take this one. <laughs> I've decided to make a couple of Halloween costumes. I'll use ordinary balloons for that. First, we'll cut off the bottom. This will be the top. That's why I need to make a cut. And also, two holes for the arms. Let's try it on. The top fits well. I like it. Now, it's time for the skirt. Let's cut this pretty balloon here. And here! It's time to try the skirt on! Oh, these stars look really cool! Let's do this here... Oh, no! <laughs> here! I brought her! Oh, great! Dark haired Barbie is what I need! This costume is coming out so pretty! The angel costume is for my doll! And for Sue's doll? Ah, I get it. I'm done with the wings. Now let's make the base. We'll need this fluffy wire. I will insert it into the wings. Carefully now. I don't want to tear them. And now we need to attach them to the top. And the halo. An angel should have a halo. Fine, let's make one. I'll take another piece of the wire. And fold it like this. Uh, how's it gonna hold? Hmm, let's attach it to the ponytail. Holy cannoli, she's so cute! Yep, just like me! Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree! I'm gonna use a black balloon for Sue's doll. It'll be a real Halloween costume. We'll make a sleeveless top. Uh-huh, looks good. And we'll use another black balloon to make mini shorts. Samantha, this is a mini costume. Fine, let's also make the sleeves. 
we'll take small balloons and cut off everything we don't need. Now we'll make unusual tips for the sleeves. This will make the sleeves look unique. As if they were cheated by a dog. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's try them on the doll. I think it looks fine. Fine? I mean, really cool. Now we'll use this heart-shaped balloon to make a skirt. We'll cut off the excess from one side and the other. I hope I got the length right. Well, I've got one more red balloon just in case. Thanks, but it looks rather pretty. And the horns? To make her look just like Sue? <laughs> yep. Let's bend it like this. And like this. I hope they will hold well. Get me some of this wire, please. Here. We'll make a tail for Sue. Now she'll think twice before taking the phone and the internet for me. Oh, yeah. In this costume, the doll looks so much like Sue. Especially when I eat her sweets. Or when I cut her dresses. Costumes look awesome! I'd wear these for Halloween myself, but I'm handsome as I am. Why, oh, you didn't put away your toys again! I'm sorry, sister, I'll tidy up. No, no more internet for you ever. And me? You too, lazy slime. Samantha, don't you think we're a little bit too harsh on Sue? Yeah, I thought so too. Maybe we should give her these costumes. Good idea, Samantha. Guys, we're off. Please vote for the costume you like best in the comments. Bye-bye! Time has come. Just a few more minutes and I will meet her. Oh, black hair. Penetrating gaze. Soon, the world will see the perfect beauty. What's going on? Huh? Oh, Sissy, oh, are you home already? Oopsie. Sammy, what are you doing to these poor dolls? Wednesday! She's the coolest girl in Nevermore and the most beautiful one! Well, why don't we just dye their hair or change outfits and makeup? You don't get it. She just has the right hair color, and this one has the right eye shape. We can't do without a complete makeover! Hold it. I have an idea. I'll introduce you to someone. To the craft table. Shiver me cheddars. I'm coming! I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands. <laughs> Hello, friends. As you've probably guessed, today I'll become Wednesday. And I can't wait any longer. Bibbity, bobbity! Oh, come on. Okay, okay. For starters, let's get rid of the old outfit. Now we can get to work. <laughs> yeah, I can hardly imagine Wednesday Adams in blue. It fits me, though. Our doll's hair is already the right color, and that's good. She even had bangs already. Only we'll cover it up for now so we won't get messy. But we are going to redraw her face, right? It's kind of too cute now. <laughs> I can't argue with that. First, let's take cotton pants and nail polish remover. And be patient. By the way, at this stage, you'd better wear rubber gloves. Exactly! A real crafter always takes care of their hands. <laughs> so let's see. Ooh, creepy, right? <laughs> hmm. Well, I think Wendy would appreciate it. It's kind of her style. You don't say. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Friends, do you like the creepy style of our main character? Give us a thumbs up if yes, and subscribe if you've already watched the series. Have you watched it till the end, Sammy? Or did you get stuck on the Raven Ball? <laughs> Sam tries really hard to master the dance. <sighs> and I'm almost there. Have you erased everything, Sue? <sighs> yep. And now, so that the new makeup lays down better, we'll prime the doll's face. 
Do this in a well-ventilated area and under adult supervision. Ah. Um, seriously, Suzy? You think it's scary? Ah. <laughs> All right, fine. I just wanted to feel like Enid the werewolf. Oh, Susan, don't get distracted. We'll grab the werewolf girl next time. Oh, great. As long as this video gets a million likes. <laughs> All right, sharpen your watercolor pencils properly. We're getting started. It remains only to outline the lips, and all the face features of Wednesday will be visible. Oh, my better! Sissy, I must stop! Sammy, what happened? Yuri and I wanted to sharpen our pencils, and, well. Oh, don't be upset. Better bring me a sharpener. Friends, we'll be back in just a sec. And like this? Great, we're done with the first step. I never thought I'd say this, but Mademoiselle Wednesday clearly lacks color and brightness. Oh, don't worry, Monsieur Magnifique. We're about to tackle this problem. Only first, we'll achieve deathly pale skin tone. Wow, you just read my mind. <laughs> I mean, that's very trendy. <laughs> Sammy, now you look like a member of Wednesday's family yourself. I mean it. Samster Adams, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> Why, I always like Uncle Faster. And in the series, he even helped to revive... No! Stop! <laughs> oh, my apologies. So, what if not everyone has watched the series yet? Okay, okay, you're right. My lips are sealed. Hmm, what color are her eyes? Hazel! Uh, no, wait. Gotta go go ahead. Whoa! Did you know that the director asked the actress not to blame? I was asking about something else. Oh. All right, fine. Our Wednesday will be brown eye. Ooh, it's very painstaking work, of course, but the result is worth it. What do you say, Sammy? Ah. But this girl likes your new image, Sammy. Look at this bright smile. Hmm. Well, I see a certain resemblance to Wednesday, but where are her baggy eyes? It's easy to add them. Apply the eyeshadow from the inner corner of the eye, then blend. Next is her hair, and then we'll make something else. What is it, Sue? Tell me! Let's keep it a secret. Huh? Stay tuned, friends. Well, now I'm intrigued! Wow, the perfect smoky eyes makeup is ready. It remains only to mark the eyelashes. And then we'll work out the eyebrows in more detail. A few neat moves. And they will look very natural. Oh la la, the more natural makeup you want, the more time you spend. Well, Mr. Grand Expert, how do you like this? Très bien, but one tiny detail is missing. Freckles! Oh, exactly. Yes, yes, I know you don't like sunlight. Great! Let's get to the hairdo. It's simple, so we can do without a professional stylist. Huh? Without a stylist? But this is outrageous! I can't believe it! What a setup! So, we're already finishing the craft, and I didn't even really participate in it! Well, okay. So that you are not offended, right now I'll reveal to you my mysterious secret. Today, except for Wednesday herself, I wanted to make another outstanding character and member of the Adams family thing. Shiver me, Chatters, that sounds amazing! Well, my fair lady, are you ready to give me your hand? Uh, uh my bad. I wanted to say, whose hand will be the reference? <laughs> you got it wrong. Although your approach is quite in the style of Wednesday, let's twist the frame of the hand from a piece of wire. Ah. <laughs> we'll add some more volume with the help of foil, like this. And some polymer clay. Do you like working with clay, friends? Then don't forget to like this video. In order for our thing to faithfully serve Wednesday, let's bake the clay. 
awesome, Sue! It's just like Uncle Fester did it! <laughs> Great! You can use a conventional oven as well. And then don't forget to decorate things! He's a colorful character! <laughs> All right, there are seams here, but they're not very visible yet. Let's change it! Chef assistant to Wednesday is ready. Where is she? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sue, she's not ready to go out. She says we forgot her outfit. Oh, right. That's okay. We'll fix it now. The matching polka dot fabric is already in place. In the meantime, I'll take the measurements. Are you ready? Uh -huh. A little bit more. Uh -huh. And here. Susie, here are the templates. Everything is top notch. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, I got it. And now... Ah, I like to work like that. Here we go again! Awesome! And now let's try it on! You look gorgeous! Wednesday Adams, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, I've been waiting to meet you for so long! Let me admire you! Sammy. He tries to invent stuff and I clean. Ew! What is this thing? Don't scold Sam, Susie. His inquisitive mind requires experiments. It's easy for you to say. You have a great helper. I wish I had one, too. <laughs> I knew it. You like to think more than me. Go ahead. Forget me. I'm just kidding. There's no one better than you. Really? Ha! Hear that? This is the pink slime territory. <laughs> Friends, did you like our new craft? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to invite your friends to our channel. It's more fun together. Bye-bye. really knows who to give this task to. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Take that! <laughs> yep, here, uh-huh, and there. What's this? <sighs> Sue's secret box? Let's see! <gasps> These are her old toys! <laughs> Let's remind Susie how she should treat her toys. Wow! Oh, oh, Sammy! Scared, eh? You'll know better now than to leave your toys in such a sorry condition. Oh, no, I'm not scared. I'm glad. What? Glad? To see this? Of course. It was my favorite doll when I was little. I played so much with her. I'm so glad you found her. So, I did a good thing? Of course you did. Here, have the candy. <sighs> hmm, I'm not going to play with her like before, but I really want to have my favorite doll where I can see her. <gasps> That's it! I'll clean her up and put her on a shelf to admire her. Oh, well, you can try, though I don't think anything can help her. You'll see. Hi, guys! Have you ever had ruined toys? Well, today, I'm going to show you a few hacks that will help you clean up a ruined doll. A Barbie doll, in this case. I really want her to shine with beauty like before. You've stepped on a very difficult path, my friend Sue. Actually, anyone can do any of the things I'm going to show in today's video. It'll only take a few minutes. So the first problem are these pen marks. I can't even imagine what happened here. Oh, Sammy, I was so little back then. I just did anything that came to my mind. I probably wanted to apply some makeup. Yeah, right. To clean the felt pen marks off the doll, I'm going to need some toothpaste and a cotton pad. 
I'll apply some toothpaste on the dirty areas like this. And now I'll wipe it with a cotton pad. Done! The next step is the hair. Oh, I don't think I can brush that. But I know a good way to untangle doll hair. I'll pour some laundry conditioner into a bowl. Then I'll soak the doll's hair in it. There. Now it should be really easy to brush your hair. Perfect. My Barbie is almost as beautiful as before. Hmm. Now that the hair is dry, let's make her even more beautiful. Colorful locks are still in fashion. So I'll make a few pink locks in Barbie's hair like this. Hmm. These old clothes won't do. I know! I'll make you a nice swimsuit in a couple of minutes! I'll cut off the lower part of a balloon, like this. Now, I need to fold it in half and make neat holes for the legs. Nice! The swimming bottoms are done! And now for the top part. I'll cut strips of the balloon, like this. And that's it! I just need to put it all on Barbie! Oh, this color will suit you so well! Wonderful, Barbie! So, Sue, how's your… Oh! Greetings, my dear lady! <laughs> Sam, it's my old Barbie doll! I cleaned her up! I can't believe it! Sue! You should let her go to the slime ball with me! A slime ball? Well, then you'll need a gorgeous dress for that, right? Let's see… Oh! You don't have any shoes! Hmm… Let's make you a pair of pretty shoes. I've inserted a colored glue tube into our glue gun. But first we need to protect your feet. I doubt you'll want to wear the same pair of shoes forever. Just like this. Very neatly. And now, with the help of glue, I'll make you some pretty shoes! Remember to be very careful when you work with a glue gun. It's very hot. And now, allow the glue to cool down. Next, we need to wipe away the excess. Dear Barbie, let me try this shoe on you. Sam, she's not Cinderella. <laughs> oh, can't I imagine myself in a fairy tale for a bit? The shoes are ready! Now, it's time for the dress. I know two ways of making a dress for a doll without sewing. For the first method, I'll need a sock. I found this cute sock in my old things. Hmm, let's see if these colors suit you. Ah, uh, I think they do. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. I'll cut off the lower part of the sock very neatly. Now, I need to make small cuts in the upper part. Let's try it on. Hmm. Well, the dress is cute, but is it good enough for a ball? Right. Where's all my pretty fabric? No! I can't wait any longer! <laughs> Your lady will be ready very soon. Don't worry. Let's see. This one? No. Here! Yes! This one will do. I'll take a square piece of fabric and fold it like this. Done! Now we need to cut away the excess. Go slowly. You need to do it neatly. It's a bit like cutting out paper snowflakes. Give a thumbs up if you've ever made paper snowflakes. And now… I'll unfold it a bit. And make cuts here… And… Here. Done! Time to get changed, Barbie! I think you'll like this dress even more. Right. Carefully now. Ah. <laughs> Perfect! Hmm. I 
think we'll need a small belt here. Oh, wow, this gold lace matches the fabric so well! Yes! Yes! Wonderful! Let's work on your hairstyle and you'll be ready to go. Oh, I'm so tired of waiting! Sam, stop whining! Why don't you go get some flowers for your lady? Oh, I can do that! You can style a doll's hair with the help of a few rubber bands. I think braids are always in style, so I'll make her a few. You just need to twist the locks like this. I'll fix them with a bobby pin and do the same to the other side. Now let's tie the braids with a rubber band. Done! Oh, I think it looks beautiful. Dear Barbie, allow me to take you to a slime ball! Oh dear, Sam, you're so gallant! I'll be happy to go to the ball with you. And that's how you can save an unlucky doll and turn her into a real beauty. Hey guys, if you liked our hacks, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends! Oh, this is nice. A fresh manicure always cheers me up. You don't say. It's good that our Barbie is now a makeover specialist. And thank you for being my first customer. Well, of course. <sighs> ah, so good. Um, excuse me, are you working? Can you take me? Um, Barbie, looks like you have a new client. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> it's always like this with me. <laughs> Please don't be upset. Don't cry so hard. Let me have a look. Hmm. The case is not hopeless. But we have a lot of work to do. Then let's not waste time. Barbie, you can count on my help. Let's get started. Hooray! <laughs> okay, now I'm ready. Let the transformation begin. What should I do? This is the first time I'm doing this. First of all, you need to change your clothes so you won't get dirty. This soft towel is also very comfortable. Oh, and this is so that your neck does not numb while we'll be creating beauty. Barbie, we're ready. What's first on the menu? My signature face mask. So let's put the hair back. And the glasses are no longer needed. They're definitely not going anywhere from here. Whoops. <laughs> let's get started. We'll prepare a couple of baggies and fill them with glue for making slime. Look how beautiful it is. Glittery. Close it tightly with a piece of double-sided transparent tape. Cute stickers will help us decorate. <laughs> Just a couple of touches and we're good to go. Look at all these. This is a unique formula with a pineapple base. Are you serious? Oh, I would love to try it. Wonderful. Apply the mask to all problem areas of the face. On it. It's very important to spread the mask evenly, like this. Once the mask is dry, we can remove it. Great. It comes off easily, like a film. Oh, it's a pretty good feeling! Okay, let's see… Huh, the pimples have not gone away yet! What a do! Oh, perhaps we have one thing left! I got you, Barbie! I'm getting started! By the way, after our wonderful face mask, this process goes easily! Excellent! It remains only to remove acne marks! No cosmetic procedure is complete without cotton pads! Uh-huh! Now we need to seal this tightly on one side, so the cotton pads are securely stored! Hmm, these are definitely not the right size! They're reducing spell. <laughs> That's better. From an empty blister of vitamins, you get a cap. Here comes the design. Turn on your imagination. And here comes the coconut oil. Well, let's see. Where's our cotton pad? Now we'll gently apply it and let it soak oh. in. <laughs> A little. Be patient. It's nothing but effective. It remains to wait a bit to see the result. So, how are we doing here? <gasps> Great! It worked! <gasps> wow, so cool! If the eyes are the mirror of the soul, then the eyebrows are the frame for that mirror. Whoa! They didn't prepare me for this at the courses. All right, let's find a way out. First, let's thin out the eyebrows. We're getting rid of excess hairs along the direction of their growth. 
Now we'll apply a special scrub. Oh, it smells good. Rub it well with a Q-tip and then carefully clean the eyebrows from all the extra hair. Well, what did I say? We can't do without cotton pads today. <gasps> wow, I can't believe it! I feel so refreshed! Just look how smooth your skin is. I don't see any pimples. Or anything at that point without my glasses. Well, they're all around here somewhere. Mm, right, they fell straight to the garbage. Well, that's where they belong. <laughs> your glasses were out of date. These lenses will only emphasize your eyes. Let's carefully secure them in place. Uh-huh. Oh, it really suits you. Do you want to see for yourself? Of course. My skin is now! I'm so glad! <laughs> oh. You will no longer be ashamed of your smile. Give me just a minute. For the next procedure, we need to change again. Replace the towel with a medical gown. We'll get to the hair a bit later. Have a seat. The doctor will be here soon. Oh, I've been afraid of doctors since I was a kid! Don't be now. The procedure is painless. Uh-huh. Well, everything is clear. A comprehensive approach is needed. Let's take a whitening toothpaste and a special anatomically correct toothbrush. We're putting on some paste and now we'll brush the teeth with smooth movements. Your teeth will sparkle with health. <laughs> now let's see what can be done to align them. With these innovative braces, you'll get a Hollywood smile in an instant. Oh, thank you, doctor! You're welcome. Another stage of our transformation is completed. Just a few steps left. Let's see what we have here. Uh-huh. Yes, this will definitely fit. Now that's what a specialist means. You guessed with the size and style. Next, let's take care of your hair. Remove the bandage from the head. Pick tails down. With this outfit, you need a trendy hairdo. So? Oh, come on. Ugh, weird. Comb alone can cope with these tangles. <gasps> We'll use a shampoo with hair conditioner. First, let's wet your hair well. Now comes the secret composition for extra easy combing. And now we need to rinse your hair. Close your eyes. Let's dry your hair. I already have a hair dryer. Uh -huh. oh. 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 I'm so sorry. Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, let me do it. I know just the right way. That's it, and smooth movements. All right. A few small pieces of pipe cleaners will serve as curlers. We'll separate a small strand of hair like this and then wind it on a curler. This is what should happen in the end. Beautiful! Let's give the curlers a couple of minutes to do their job. In the meantime, we'll get on with… Drum roll! False eyelashes! Check out how many there are! Only these eyelash designs need to be adjusted. Right. Otherwise, they won't take long to fly away on them. <laughs> Don't close your eyes. Wonderful. Oh, I love everything so much. I'm just a little tired of sitting. Be patient for a couple more minutes. We only have a small thing left. We can't let you go without makeup. Here's eyeshadows and lipstick. But right now, we need this. Every makeup starts with the foundation. We smooth out all the bumps in the skin and give it a matte finish. Now we're gonna… Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, I just wanted to remind you that it's time to remove the braces. <gasps> Great news! And just in time. Ah, And it's done! By the way, it's time to take off the curlers. That's it. <gasps> oh, what a funny look! <laughs> Such volume! Maybe we'd better let a specialist deal with it. Uh, seriously? Not this either. Yes, this is the one. Oh, how nice it is when someone combs your hair. Let's add a couple of accessories. This way you'll literally shine. Oh, definitely. Just one last little touch. Ripe raspberry shade. It suits you very well. <gasps> is this me? Wow, I didn't know I could be so beautiful.
I also enjoyed working with you. Now take care of yourself. Promise. Goodbye. Bye bye. Sue, so, I wanted to ask you. Whoa. Uh, who was that? Never saw her. New Barbie's client? <laughs> no, the same one. Seriously? Um, Jeremy Chatters? That's a success from the first day of opening! Congratulations! Oh, thanks! <laughs> so nice! Give us a thumbs up if you like our doll videos! And subscribe! See you soon in our next video! Bye-bye! Let me go! I need more! Sammy! Sammy, calm down! You'll get over it! No! I have to buy more! <laughs> our Barbies have enough clothes! Oh, no, you don't. Oh, mm. no. Try to hold out a bit more. The sales ends in three, two, one. Ew, I'm much better now. So what are you gonna do with all this stuff? <laughs> Not me. We. Let's arrange a room for all these outfits. I need a distraction anyway. That's a great idea. Hi, guys. Today we're gonna make a fancy Barbie dressing room. Um, Sue, where are you? Where should I go? You're almost there. Now stop and let me take off the blindfold. Ta-da! So what do you think? Hmm? And that's it? Just an empty room? Nothing fancy about it. Oh, you're so easy to trick. We're gonna have to furnish the room first. Hurry up, Jimmy Java! The more closets, the better! Uh, one, two... Be careful, Sammy. Here's a fancy bed to chill after shopping. And some wall displays, of course. All Barbie's accessories will be in the full view here. Yep, that's great. I also need two more shelves for sunglasses and a shoe closet. Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey! I was talking to serious people! No more shopping today, Sammy. Look, we already have enough furniture here. Uh, I'd better keep myself busy. Sue, can we find a place for this, too? Um, I guess. Maybe you'd rather use straws to make something for the wall displays? I'll try. Seems like I have a creative burnout. Guys, the dressing room is almost ready. Let's finish it up. Here you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Check this out. This might also come in handy. You're right. It looks perfect here, Sue. Let's also hang these paintings. Ah, uh, Sammy? <laughs> So the straws can be a great addition to the shelves. All we need is just a bit of hot glue. Hop. <laughs> uh-huh. Sue, speed up! How much longer? All done! Finally! Now let's unpack all my purchases! To do that, I'm gonna have to dive into that pile of gloves! Sue, you can proceed without me, you know? <laughs> While Sam is diving, I'll prepare the mannequins. One, two, three… Wow! <laughs> I know what fits that thing in your hands! Oh, I totally agree. It looks amazing here. Guys, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> it is the wrong mannequin! Whoops. <laughs> Let's fix it. Done. Now Barbie will know what to wear. Susan, look! I want new clothes so badly that I started sewing! <laughs> then it's good that we're crafting a dressing room, huh? We can create as many new outfits as we want, and we'll have a place to store all of them. The more fashionable dresses there are, the merrier! <laughs> and we'll finish this look with a nice silk ribbon. Great! Holy cannoli! Then I'll bring you some more of my designs! There can't be too many of such pretty dresses. Guys, do you agree? Sue, I wanna put something in that wardrobe already! Hmm, but how should I… Oh, I know! We'll cut out tiny, beautiful hangers out of foam paper. Check this out. <laughs> but we're gonna need more of them. Hmm. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Voila! Wow! Can you make these for me, too? Get in line, Sammy. I have a pretty long waiting list. <laughs> uh, Susan, please! Check out what I've got for you! Hmm, okay, you persuade me. But can you teach me how to make a bag like that? No problem! Guys, do you want to see too? Then stay tuned! Wow, 
I've got the materials. Where's my teacher? So, Susan, first of all, you should glue them out to the front side. Got it. Oh, it's so cute. I love the decor like this. <laughs> Attention, please! Next, you should glue the bottom piece. Here you go. What's next? Then attach the back side and the back strap. And show me the result. <gasps> it's fabulous! I'll give you an A+, plus, Susan. Thanks, Sammy. You're a great teacher. Oh, I'm flattered. Here, fancy shoes for my favorite students. It's a pity they're too small for me. So I better give them to Barbie. <laughs> She'll love it. Speaking of which, she's just arrived from a ball and she wants to see a new room. Okay, girl, let's show it off. <laughs> Careful! I'm not good at speed matching! Uh-oh! This dress doesn't fit into the wardrobe! Susan, it's an emergency! Help is on the way. We have this. <laughs> That's what this mannequin was made for. What can I say? It's a perfect size! And now it perfectly fits in here! Phew! And I really so stress with shopping! <laughs> hey, Tibidabo, we have so many shelves! We'll place it all here! There we go! Let's focus on new furniture now! We haven't made any drawers yet! We'll use some glue gun again! Guys, be careful with the glue gun! There we go! <laughs> Hop! Like this. Hold it! I need new content for my Instagram! <laughs> and your drawer needs a handle! Wow, what a luxurious thing! Good job! Guys, let's not be greedy and make two drawers. But we can't leave them empty! Let's fill them up! That's a very good idea, Sammy! Thank you for these! And here's what Barbie keeps in her vanity table! <laughs> Let's place some new perfume bottles there as well! Girls, what scent do you like? I'll go first. I want something fresh like the morning after rain. And I want a fruity sweet scent like strawberries. I prefer a scent of oriental spices and wood. Can you get both? Okay, ladies, calm down. My head is gonna blow! Girls, give Sammy some time. Who wants some makeup? I do! Me first! Wait for me! Huh? Where are they? I brought everything on the list! The dolls went to a party with new makeup. In the meantime, we can wrap it up with the room. Wow! The whole dressing room is just for me! You brought so much jewelry! Each Barbie will have something suitable for any occasion. Thanks, I can't hold it any longer! Please take it away! Yeah. Hold on, mister. It looks like we need more hangers. Paper clips are perfect for it. Here we go. Now all the dresses can fit into the closet. <laughs> Phew, this is the last one. Do you think we have enough space? Don't worry. We can put something on the empty shelves. Susie, hurry up! My shopping mania is coming back again! Ah, oh, Sammy. I'm afraid I have to take some serious action. Stand still. Why did I open my mouth at all? Done. Now everything's in place. What about you, Sammy? Mine done too. Hey, Otibidaba, you gave me that ribbon. You shouldn't get bored, and that's all. <laughs> Check out this fancy outfit, guys. It's time for a slumber party, girls. Let's start the pillow fight. Hey, go down! My head! <laughs> Seems like your party went out of control, right? <laughs> uh, no more pillow fights with dolls! And hide these bags away! Let's put it on display. <gasps> the dressing room is so full! But wait a minute! Susie, we didn't make any shoes in our signature pink color! Hmm, you're right! The room would be empty without them. Let's make the tiniest version right now. Magic touch! <gasps> wow, they look awesome! Do you agree, guys? Then give us a thumbs up! Check out who's here! Little Chelsea, do you like the dressing room? <gasps> Shiver me chatters! Are these tears of joy? Oh, check out that guy! <laughs> hey, do you like it? Much better! Let's see what else we can do! No wonder she was crying! We didn't have anything for children here! Anyway,
way we have enough space for a toy box. Let's put something fluffy in here. <laughs> that tickles. This is all for you, Chelsea. <laughs> Enjoy. Susan, are we ready to open up? There's a long queue out there. Hey, I know that you're excited, but keep the jesting. Welcome, Mademoiselle. How can I help you? <laughs> Our first client seems to be very tired. Okay, who is next? Hi, I saw beautiful flowers in the window. Can I borrow them? Um, sure. Take as many as you want. They're all yours. Will anybody come for clothes? Do you have colorful sandals? I wanna look edgy. Here you are. I'm not sure they're the right size, though. Thanks. What a weird opening day. Nobody even asked about these adorable shoes. Don't worry. I'll keep them as a souvenir. Let's take a proper look at our dressing room. And here's a challenge. Try to count all the accessories. <laughs> Okay, Sammy, I'm ready. Let's get started. Go! I need two pairs of high heels and one casual dress! Hmm, high heels and a dress. Done! <laughs> now give me a perfect outfit for Met Gala with accessories and perfume! Phew! And this! And time! Congratulations, you passed! Now the wardrobe looks kind of empty! Almost nothing's left! Aww. Look on the bright side, there's so much space in there! What should we do with it? Finally! It means that I can go shopping again! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Guys, we've lost Sammy to his shopping addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the dressing room, guys? Support this video with your thumbs up! See you soon, everybody! Bye-bye! These are so beautiful and unusual. I'd love my outfits to take part in a fashion show one day. <sighs> but to achieve this, I need to study a lot and learn to create new outfits. Fashion design is amazing. I'm glad I started to study it. Hey guys, have you ever created your own outfits? Write in the comments. Right, and I need to practice. Drawing is good, but I need to move on to real-life outfits to understand how they'd look in reality. Huh, I don't have enough fabric. Can't do much with these. And who will be my model? I will! Oh, Sammy, thank you so much, but I, I want to make dresses. Oh, uh, I think I'll skip dresses. Oh, use your Barbie dolls! Are they sitting here for nothing? Barbie dolls? Oh, that's a wonderful idea! Thank you, Sammy! You're welcome! I won't only use dolls as models. I'll use Samantha's idea to use balloons! Do you remember the video where Samantha and I made these outfits? Give a thumbs up if you did! Susie, wait for me! Sam, do you remember where the box of balloons is? There were a lot of them left. Oh. Yes, yes! I'll go get it! Oh, and I'll get everything ready! Hi, everyone! We're going to hold a workshop on how to create simple doll outfits. And for me, it'll be fashion design practice. And for me, balloon is fun! Oopsie! <laughs> Can't do without fun! Here's your balloon supply! Great, Julie, thanks! And for today's outfits, we'll only need colorful balloons of different types and scissors. Don't forget to be careful with scissors. 
And what will you start with? Hmm, let's see what we have here. <gasps> Aha! These two balloons complement each other. I'll make a top from the blue balloon. We'll need the wide part of the balloon. I've always wanted to make an asymmetrical top. Right, this is the opening for the arm. And here's our stylish top. Let's make a cool skirt to match it. This balloon will make a wonderful pleated skirt. To make it, we'll need to cut off the top and the bottom part of the balloon. I also made something for myself from the balloon. <laughs> That's stylish. Yeah! And here's our skirt. Time to try the outfit on. Come here, beautiful doll. And... Lizzie, oh, you forgot an important detail. What, Sammy? An accessory I keep hinting. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I'll use the remainder of the yellow balloon to make a hairband. I'll cut off this ring and a piece of the balloon. Right, I need to shape it. Great. Now let's tie this piece around the ring. Done. Let's put it on. Carefully not to tear it. Great. And we also need... Shoes! Wow, Sammy, you can read my mind. I know a thing or two about style. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, let's see. Um, and maybe... Uh, ha! Yes, these. Let's try them on. One, and two. Now it's done! Next, I'll make a dress. It'll be fashionable purple. A ruffled balloon will be great for that. I only need to cut it on the top and at the bottom. There! Come here! You'll have to part with this beautiful angel costume, but there's an amazing dress waiting for you. Let's try it on carefully. Maybe putting a balloon on isn't very fast, but it looks elegant. Done! Only too simple. Yes, let's add a small detail. I'll cut two pieces of a balloon from the narrow part. And two. I'll put this piece on the top of the upper part of the dress, nice and slow, and I'll adjust it. Right, and this narrow piece will go through the wide one. And over the head. Let's smooth it all out, and voila! Time to add some accessories. These shoes will highlight the festive mood of the dress. And a bracelet. And a handbag. Done! Oh, from the heaven straight to the ball. Hello, me, mademoiselle. <laughs> and these two beauties also want new outfits. New outfits? No problem. I've got so many balloons left. Right, let's see which colors will suit each of you. Hmm, this is a wonderful turquoise color for you. And for you, this one. Uh, no. Oh, yes. So bright and sunny. And this clear white to accompany it. Let's go. I'll make a classic sheath dress from the turquoise balloon. Go on, and I'll select some accessories for it. All right, I trust you with this important task. Thank you, Susan. I won't let you down. Right, to make a strict sheath dress. I need to cut off the ring. We'll need it later. And the top of the balloon, just like this. Okay, now let's make holes for the arms. I'll cut out neat triangles. It's better to go slowly here. These are our openings. Time to put the dress on. And now we only need to decorate the dress with a cute belt. Like this. Take these shoes. Oh, wonderful, Sam. I couldn't have selected better shoes myself. One and two. And done. Beautiful. A very busy like elegant lady. I'm glad you like it. So let's dress you up as well. This wonderful sunny orange balloon will make a wonderful top. I'll cut it off here at the top and at the bottom to make a narrow strip, but not too narrow, like this. Let's see. This top is called a bandeau. It doesn't have any sleeves. I think it's a wonderful top for summer. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. Wonderful. Let's add a cute detail to our top, a pretty wide ruffle. 
I'll just cut a piece of the balloon. Right. Let's try you on. Wow, it looks even better than I expected. And this balloon will make a cute summery skirt. We need to cut off the top and the bottom. Let's see how this pretty skirt will look on you. I also had a skirt like this. Very summery. Well, time for shoes. <laughs> All right, Sam. And now it's time to accessorize. Oh, these are wonderful summer accessories, Sammy. Gorgeous. So our summery sunny beauty is ready. Attention everyone, I present to you the first fashion show of our new designer, Susan. Oh, thank you. I'm so nervous. Don't worry, Susie. Your outfits are great. up if you like them. And please write in the comments which outfit you liked most of all. Bye! See you soon! Sue is off thinking about new designs. You guys, subscribe to the channel to support her. Oh, and hit the bell button to see a new video as soon as it comes out. And the final touch. Wow, Roger, what a cool drawing. Thanks, Sam. I'm thinking about a new craft. Sam, bring them up, please. Are you kidding me? We have a ghost in the house. <laughs> Sammy, that's nonsense. Which ghosts? You knocked this glass down. Roger, don't you know that every house has its own ghost? <laughs> that's ridiculous. No, it is not. You'll see for yourself when you build a house. You'll have ghosts there in no time. Challenge accepted. Hi, guys. Today we'll build a house that will become a perfect home for ghosts. But if we don't get any ghosts, Sam will get in trouble. <laughs> I love to blow Sam's wild theories. Actually, the CEO of Ghostbusters Inc. can't talk so carefree about wild theories. Let's see how qualified you are. First of all, a ghost won't come into a house with a green lawn like this. Okay, we'll fix it now. Huh, that's better. Guys, Sue already assembled a sweet lavender house like this. Do you remember? I really liked it. Well, I'll try to make a perfect ghost house from this second set. A creepy one, but very beautiful. When Sam sees it, he'll be shocked. Let me know later which house you like the most. I'll help you. There are lots of conditions for the ghosts to move into a house. Sam, don't you think that your ghosts are too picky? We'll decorate this area with stones that I made out of clay. Hush, Roger! I hope that the ghost didn't hear you. Ah! I don't care about your ghosts. If they're going to be too fussy, I'll just kick them out of the house. Firstly, Roger, where are your manners? Oh! And secondly, all the ghosts Typical features are described in our Ghostbusters guide. Sounds serious. Don't worry. I'll tell you everything I know 
without ghosts. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh! <laughs> ho! Sure you will, Sammy. The stone decoration of the lawn is done. Let's continue. Our ghost experts said that they don't like the new floors. That's why we'll try to antiquate them. Great, Roger! I approve the floor! Now, let's take care of the walls! Oh, by the way, I already drew the wooden boards on them. Great job, Sam! Fresh paint does look beautiful. But... There is some sort of charm in shabby houses. Here, we'll install a lamp. And now it's time to decorate our walls. Um, Roger? <sighs> right, Sam. Ghosts don't like perfect wallpapers. Awesome, Roger. You learn fast. You're a great teacher, Sam. Even though ghosts can pass through the walls, we still can't do without windows. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Actually, Sam may sound very persuasive, but I still don't believe in ghosts. Roger, don't make me mad! So what do you say about the white spots that always appear in photos? It's definitely ghosts that just want to be in pictures as well! <laughs> oh, Sammy! It's just because of dust or insects in the lens. Better check out this cool wall that I made. Yep, Roger. Your wall is almost as perfect as mine. <laughs> oh, that's the best compliment. Guys, this lamp will work thanks to these wires. That will attach to these batteries. Now let's set the walls. And for the walls to look neat, we'll place the batteries in a special place. Be careful when working with wires. All right, it's time to arrange the furniture. We'll start with the kitchen. Hi, Jar, did I praise you for nothing? Oh. Sam. We need some ghost-style furniture. Well, you're the ghost expert here, not me. Here, look! I made a ghost-style couch! Very unusual. Sammy, can you give me a couple of hints of what your ghost style is? Easy peasy. First, it's elegance. Ghosts don't like fancy stuff or bright colors. Actually, bright colors are trending now. But, okay, so what else? Second, it's minimalism. Ghosts appreciate the beauty of simple shapes. Minimalism is top-notch now. Third, it's the noble old-fashioned. Ghosts are proud of their age. So you just made this kitchen cupboard old? I decorated it in the noble old-fashioned way. Generally, it looks interesting. I guess ghosts won't say no to a coffee table. Huh. It really matches the interior. Approved! Now we'll get to the first floor. We need to fix the chandelier. Since the floor of the first floor is also the ceiling of the ground floor. Roger! Do you feel this cold wind? I guess the ghosts have already come! Oh! Um, <laughs> I just forgot to turn off the air conditioner. 17 degrees! Roger! Sam, calm down. Fine. So, I set two chandeliers and glued the floor. There we go. Our house can be super ghostly, but it can't stand without some pillars. And another one. We'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Perfect. Guys, have you ever seen ghosts? Are they really that picky? 
Roger, not picky, but demanding when it comes to style. Like this. Sammy, how do you like this noble old-fashioned style? Acceptable. I think it's a perfect old fence. Here comes the last detail. And now we'll take care of first floor. Roger, did you know that cats can see ghosts? I noticed our Fluffy staring at one spot without even blinking. Hmm, maybe he's meditating. Huh, I didn't think about that. Roger, you didn't think this through. How will ghosts enter the house? Well, I thought they can fly. But every ghost will definitely want to check out this stairway. Roger, I need a door that will fit our house perfectly. I'm sure ghosts will appreciate our haunted style house. Of course they will. Ghosts are very sophisticated. They only like beautiful things. Since our ghosts are East Feet, let's add more decor. Our ghosts can read their ghost magazines on this bench. I wonder if they have their own National Geographic. Roger, our house looks empty. Let's have more of a special atmosphere. This floor lamp will help us. Perfect. It would also help add some ghost style light. It's coming out good. Oh, what's this ghost? Oh, guys, did you hear that too? Sammy, you'll be shocked. Wow. Yeah, ghosts are cool. <sighs> well, time to bring our Sam back. <laughs> I get carried away. We need to hide our musical mechanism. Oh, that music enchanted me. Oh, this fence fits in really well. And a little raspy armchair as well. Sammy, do ghosts sleep at all? Uh, during the course, they told us that... Listen, do ghosts wash? Would it be weird if not? Well, in theory, they defo. And what did they do for fun? Did they throw ghost parties? Roger, stop! When a ghost comes, ask it directly. There's no house without a roof. Sammy, your ghost will defo like it. I guess it matches all your requirements. Um, I forgot one more thing. Let me guess. Ghosts like old pictures? refers to the old-fashioned thing. Point number four says that ghosts are fond of the gothic style. Sue told me about it some time ago. Gothic style is all about dark colors and sharp edges. Huh, that's very high-quality work. Roger, you did great. Thanks. I hope the ghost likes it too. <laughs> At least it could show up. Talking about the third point... Here's some noble, old-fashioned styles. There should be lots of plants in a haunted house. Since no one takes care of them. Plants grow like everywhere. Roger, speaking hypothetically... Yes, Sammy? Well, I mean, what if the ghost doesn't show up in the end? What then? <laughs> then I'll have to work hard on my jokes about your crazy theories. <laughs> Hopesie! Our house came out too cool. What if ghosts never show up? Then Roger will be making fun of me all the time. I guess I should summon a ghost in advance. <coughs> Sammy, don't summon it too early. Otherwise, you'll have to pay for the waiting. But it, it's not a taxi. It can wait. Roger, I just want you to train a little. Uh, by the way, there was a new pink car out there. Look what I did. Wow, Sam, you're a real ghost rider. Let's make our car look even more spooky. What is your idea? To make it look like the car was out here for a while. 
and got covered with leaves and stuff. Oh, I like the way you think. And I really like the broken headlights and window, Sam. Very creative. You're our master decorator. Done. This car perfectly matches the style of our house. So, guys, our stylish mystery house is ready. Now we're just waiting for ghosts. Hop, hop, hop. Sammy, when are your ghosts coming? I've got stuff to do. I still need to come up with jokes about your faith in non existing ghosts. Ooh, who's non existing here? Hmm. Oh, Sir Ghost, nice to meet you. It's a pity that ghosts don't eat. Otherwise, I'd treat you to delicious Nutella. Did you want to say we slimes? Oopsie! I should have summoned a ghost in advance. <sighs> oh, Sammy. I told you that ghosts don't exist. Guys, if you liked our craft, give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and see you soon in our next videos. And hit the bell button to get all the notifications. Right, Roger? Roger? That's weird. Bye-bye! Do. Oh, it's not gonna work without scissors! Alright! Oh, why doesn't it work? Why is it so difficult? Sammy? What are you doing here? And why is there such a mess? Uh, so, uh, I just decided to bring your fabrics in order. Uh, that's strange. You and order are quite incompatible things. I'm sure you got me. I wanted to make you a gift. A handmade doll, but it didn't work out. Sammy, that's so sweet. Don't worry, let's make the doll together. Sure, Sue. Quick, let's go. Hi, guys. Today, Sammy and I are going to make a stuffed toy. Yes, it's going to be the best doll in the world. Oh, hi, guys. Sue, so, where do we start? Sammy, making the doll was your idea. Maybe you know better? Uh, I think we should start with candies for inspiration. Ugh, typical Sammy. Let's begin with the base of the doll. Here are the paper templates for the body, and arms, and legs. Let's carefully outline our pieces this way. Don't forget to make a five millimeter seam allowance. This way the fabric won't fall off and the stitches will hold well. So I'm ready for work. What do I do? <laughs> First of all, wash your face. Or for example, you can figure out the doll's design. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Let's secure the fabric with a pin so that it doesn't move. And then sew the pieces along the outline before cutting them out. By the way, guys, remember that needles are very sharp. Be very careful when working with it not to prick yourself. Sue, so, the sketches are ready! Here, check out what I drew. Good job, Sammy! Uh, well, I don't even know which one to choose. <laughs> Try turning them over. Hmm, wow, Sammy. That's a different story. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like Sam's sketches, too. So, does this drawing remind you of anything? Huh, I think it looks like me a bit. Exactly, I tried my best. <laughs> 
Aww. Okay, I guess we agreed on the sketch. Now let's begin cutting the pieces out. Do it carefully not to cut yourself. There. We should do the same with the arms and the legs. That's a job for Master Sam, up! <laughs> well, while Master Sam is out doing his job, we're turning our piece inside out. Here's what we got. Now we need to stuff the body. Carefully fill the fabric. I wonder how it's going with Sammy. I'm almost finished! Oh, that's what I need! All right, Sam, in the meantime, we're going to finish working on the body of our future doll. Let's sew its head this way, carefully. We need to tighten it so that the opening is invisible. Here's the end result. I guess I'm right on time. Sammy, you did a great job. We'll need the arms a little bit later. Let's sew the legs now. Guys, I remind you to be careful working with the needle. You better ask an adult to help you with this craft. Let's attach the legs. Make a knot and cut the extra thread off. Check it out! I can already see our future doll shaping up. Two, I have doubts it'll look like you. Oh, don't you worry, Sammy. The most interesting part is still ahead. Making clothes. Let's make jeans for our doll so she looks more like me. Fold the fabric, right sides facing each other. Outline the templates, prepared beforehand. We'll need two pieces of this kind. She started without me again! Sue, I'm ready to cut out the pieces! I've got a more interesting task for you. Could you choose a fabric for the cardigan? Uh, okay, I'm on it. There was a suitable fabric somewhere. Uh, not here for sure. Uh, oh, that's the right thing. I think she'll appreciate it. Sue, I guess I found just what we need. You like pink, don't ya? Oh, perfect, Sammy. I was just finishing the jeans for our doll. I only need to connect all the pieces and sew them here and here. Trust me on this. It can speed things up. I can't wait to see the final result. All right, Sammy. In the meantime, I'll make a blouse. Cut out the front and the back pieces of the blouse like these. Now, sew them together. Done! But something's missing. <gasps> Let's add a ruffle. Cut out a 40 centimeter piece of the same fabric. Pass a thread through one edge of the fabric. Don't rush. Try to make the line as even as possible. And now pull the fabric on the thread this way. It's time to sew the ruffle to our blouse. Sue, you're so slow. I've almost finished with the jeans and you're still messing about with the blouse. Not true. You'll see now how quick I can make a cardigan. And our cardigan's ready. <laughs> Oopsie, I have to hurry up with the jeans. The sleeves for the cardigan are done too. Let's put the arms inside them. Pull the sleeve all the way down. Da -da 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 -da. Do -do. <laughs> so look. Sammy, enough fooling around. It's time to dress our doll. Let's start with the blouse. Here, our blouse looks amazing. And now we take the cardigan. Oh, this is so cute! Let's attach the arms. There. And why did Sam have doubts that it was not going to look like me? <laughs> it's time to add some details. That's it! The doll's ready! Bye, guys! Subscribe! Hey! What's the hurry? Don't rush, Mr. Sam. I've got more great ideas. I think our doll can't do without a hat. Let's make it out of this soft and warm fabric. Oh, yeah. It's so soft. <laughs> Look, Sue, I've got a perfect scarf. Sweet. But I hope you won't mind sharing it with the doll. Fine. Although, I like it too, you know. Let's turn our hat inside out and decorate it with this cute button. Carefully sew the button to the hat. I hope Sam's dealt with the scarf just fine. Up. I think it's pretty good. Here, 
here, Sue. I have to go. I've got things to do. <laughs> and where is our busy slime off to? Anyway, in the meantime, let's see if the hat fits our doll's head well. Sue, how do you like my new look? <laughs> Sammy, that's hair for the doll. Ugh, the hair's for the doll, the scarf's for the doll, and even the hat. Uh, while Sam's off being angry, we're going to glue the doll's hair. Do it in a circular motion. This way. Perfect. Check out what we've got. What a beautiful doll. It's time to put her hat on. Let's see. <gasps> awesome. She's so adorable, isn't she? Let's comb her hair. Our doll has very long, silky hair. Amazing! Sue, quick, look at this! What is it, Sammy? Don't just see, something's missing! Hmm. <gasps> Maybe a bag? Right, a bag! A very important thing for any girl! Well, in the meantime, we're going to mark the eyes of the doll. One and two. We'll make the eyes using a French knot. Push the needle through the head and pull the thread out. And make a French knot. There we go. Now push the needle through again, but in the opposite direction. And pull the thread out. Check it out, we made a cute eye. So check out what I made. Whoa, we should immediately try this bag on. Wow, you made the eyes. I like it. Thanks, Sammy. And now it's time to work on the boots. I've prepared these templates for the boots beforehand. Let's glue this template to the cardboard piece, right along the contour. Turn the piece over and glue the back side of the boot. To hide the fabric overlap, we're gluing an additional piece here. Here's the boot we made! <laughs> Voila! Awesome! Sue, you're a good teacher! I managed to make the boot too! Great job! Let's put it here and put them on our doll. Wow, so pretty! There's one little detail left. Let's put a cute little bear inside the bag of our doll. Whoa, what a gift I made for you! <laughs> Sammy. I should find the right spot. I think this is the best place for a gift. Right, let's wait for her here. Sammy, where's my doll? Huh, poor Sue by Sam. I wonder, what could it be? Did Sam really make a gift for me? And, oh. This looks like the doll I made not so long ago. But Sue, we made it together. Besides, I've got some new gift ideas, so let's go make them quick. Guys, subscribe to our channel not to miss Sam's new ideas. And give a thumbs up if you liked our doll. Bye-bye. See you guys. Sammy? Mail! It's a package from our grandmother! Seriously? What is it? What is it? Let me see! Hold on a sec. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh boy, oh boy, Sue! I'll burst with curiosity by then! Grandma always knew what candy Samantha and I liked the best. Not just you, you know. Oh, I see. I think I'm catching your drift. Help yourself, Sammy. Oh, a letter. You can read it. Dear Susie and Samantha, I'm sending you your Barbie dolls you left several summers ago, along with your favorite candies. I hope you are well. I hope to see you soon. Love you. Give my regards to Sam, your loving grandma. Hi, Graham. Sammy! Oh, there's something else. P.S. Samantha, try not to eat all the candies at once. It's bad for your teeth. Sam, you didn't eat all the candy, did you? Who? Me? Of course not. I just tasted. It's very, very yummy. Sammy. I'm sorry, Sue. These candies were so good that I just couldn't stop. <laughs>
Oh, Sammy, one day I'll have to do something about this. You can't eat so much candy. Yeah, I get it. By the way, your gram said something about the dolls. That's right. You want to see? I sure do. Oh, look at all these. It's a treasure trove. Yeah, kind of. Are you okay, Sue? You seem upset. Did you not like the package? I'm okay, Sammy. I liked it very much, but don't you think these clothes look a bit... old? Old? Yeah, you're right. Excuse me, Ish. I think this dress went out of style. I agree. Oh, Sammy, what should I do with them? Cheer up, Sue. We'll make new clothes for your dolls. They'll get the most fashionable wardrobe. Thanks for your support, Sammy. Let's get to work. Hey, everyone! Guys, let's see what kind of change we can offer to our beautiful models. First, we need the right fabric. Oh, which one to choose? Uh -huh. Susie! Oh, gosh, Sam, you scared me! I just wanted to say that last time you made really cool and stylish clothes from balloons. <laughs> you think so? Of course! Guys, you remember how Sue made balloon outfits for her own fashion show? Wasn't it amazing? Yeah, we can use balloons. Thanks for the tip, Sammy. Oh, is that your service, ma'am? For the first look, I'll need one large balloon, a small one, and scissors. I'll just cut off the tip of the balloon like this, and we'll get a top for the dress. Now I'll chop off the bottom, and voila! Our wonderful dress is almost ready. You always make it seem so easy. Thank you, Sammy. And now we'll add some style to this outfit. Guys, remember to be very careful with scissors. And don't be shy to ask an adult for help. Sue, I don't get it. Why did you cut out this triangle? It was already pretty. Oh, Sammy, you just don't understand. one shoulder tops are in fashion now. I don't see a difference. Sam, I hear you. <laughs> the rest of the balloon will make a great ruffle. If that's absolutely necessary. The details, Sammy. Fashion is in the details. That's what my professors say. I think I get it now, Susie! You're a great student, Sammy. Maybe you can tell me what's missing here? Yeah. How about a belt? Amazing idea. We'll make the belt from a different balloon. Right, guys? <laughs> Looks pretty to me. It really does. But you know what I see? This look lacks accessories. You're right, Sammy. I even have something for that. Now look closely. I'm cutting off a tiny piece of the balloon. And then I'll pull it through the ring and tie up. It might take a few tries because the balloon is too smooth and our future accessories are very small. My gross scuff thick. Yes, Sammy. Well, we just need to pick the right shoes and the outfit is ready. How about this pair? Wow, Sammy, it seems to me that these shoes go great with our new look. Happy to hear it. All right, it's time to dress this Barbie doll. I'll start the same exact way as I did the last time, just cutting across the balloon at an angle like this. And we have this unusual top. Let's try it on. Come on. Ugh. Cool. Next, we'll make a skirt of a darker color. Cutting it all. Susie, let's use this heart-shaped white balloon. Oh, no, Sam. We need this balloon for the next outfit. Look how the skirt turned out. Sue, <laughs> so where do you dress like this? I think it'll be great for both formal and casual occasions. Then tonight we'll have a super party! Hey, lady, would you like to dance with the best dancer in town? Oh, wait, Sammy. Cinderella almost forgot her shoes. Now we're talking. Isn't she beautiful? It came out great, Sue. Really? And now we'll try something new. Yay! I'll make an extremely fashionable top for this cute Barbie gal. Okay, guys. We need to make three more holes for the head and her arms. Just like this. Almost ready. The dolls have two hands, but I know the trick to make two sleeves in one cut. All done! Time to get dressed. Sue, how can I help? Hmm. Maybe you could pick something for the next craft? 
This I can do. I had no doubt. Done. I always wanted to have a vintage blouse like this. What's this balloon for? A skirt. The highest quality material. This makes a great pairing with the top. Sam, maybe you could also pick the accessories? No problemo. I'm on it. Okay. Uh, no, no, definitely. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, there they are. Done. Sammy, what's that? I couldn't decide which pair would fit better, so I picked them both. Can you really wear it like this? You can do whatever you want if your stylist is slime, Sam. Uh, I like the way you think, but I'm afraid the model will be uncomfortable in different shoes. <sighs> As usual, great artists are unappreciated. Oh, don't say that, Sammy. So guys, we're down to our last Barbie. Let's make her dress less formal. Finally! Perhaps something casual for every day that is comfortable and pretty, too. Wait, what? What? I like it when it's comfortable. Not that I don't like those fancy dresses you made. Uh, we made, Sammy. Your help was very valuable. Just like the last time, I need to make the armholes. Actually, you're right, Sam. Formal gowns can be pretty uncomfortable. I don't even know how you girls wear all these heels and narrow dresses. <laughs> it's not that hard, and we don't have to do it very often. Just a skirt left. We're at the finish line! Yahoo! I think this skirt should have a front slit so she can move comfortably. Yes, yes, yes! Move, run, jump, and play ball! <laughs> right, Sammy. Let's try it on. Would you care to find more comfortable shoes for this look? With pleasure. And I'll make a belt for this cheery outfit. All done! I think these look good! Great, Sammy! They suit perfectly! Oh, I just love it! Wait, ladies! You forgot your accessories! You're so thoughtful, Sammy! Seems like we did a wonderful job. Now everybody looks stylish. Yes. Hey guys, do you like the new or the old outfits the best? Write in the comments. Good idea. We're curious what you think. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to inspire our new design ideas. Bye for now. Bye bye. What should I... <laughs> what? Sammy, come visit me! Love, Natiri! Hello, Natiri? I'm on my way! I hope she heard me like that! Oh, my Earthlings! I've gotta go! Pandora, wait for me! <laughs> we will be the first to land on Pandora and meet baby Natiri! Grr, the tiger friend will help deliver the baby to the transformation! First, we'll use some clay. She already looks a bit like a Navi. And now we will cover the doll with blue paint from head to toe! Well, let's draw your eyes, shall we? Come on, it's going to be a little ticklish! <laughs> and let's not forget about the patterns of the Navi people! So beautiful! With a thin brush, we will apply blue patterns to the arms, legs, and the whole body of the baby. Let's make her hair from twisted pieces of black ribbon! They look like real braids! And the traditional Navi hairstyle is ready! Just check her out! 
the only thing left is to make the baby comfortable clothes for the jungle. Well, now we're talking! Let's add a couple of accessories. Whoosh! <laughs> and everything is ready! Come back to the jungle, baby Natiri! Adventures are waiting for you! Huh? Huh? What was that? Oh my! Ah! <laughs> Our characters met and became good friends! Look, they're having a picnic! <laughs> it's so much fun with friends! Baby Natiri is happy! Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> to the top of the tree! Get down! <laughs> Get down, baby girl! It's time for you to sleep! Come on! For a peaceful sleep, Natiri needs a cozy hammock. And of course it must be beautiful! Let's decorate it with plants! Oop! And oop! We'll add the rarest species from Pandora's jungle! Here we go! So pretty! Well, Natiri, are you ready to see your new home? After fun games, the baby will sleep sweetly in her bed bed. Rock-a-bye, baby, under the trees, la 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 la. Oh, lay, baby! Who ordered slime for the party? <laughs> hey, shush! Can you not be shouting? Ah, uh, excuse me, please. Of course, a baby's sleep is very important. What was I thinking? <laughs> she said shush! Haven't you heard her? While everyone was arguing, a seed of a magic tree landed on the baby. Wow, this has never happened before! Iwa is talking to us! It looks like we're in for a new transformation! Hello again, little girl! I've seen you've grown up a lot! Amazing! With age, Navi people gain new beautiful patterns for their skin. Their hair, by the way, also became longer! Here's the outfit for you. Want to try it on? Holy cannoli! I had to take a picture for my subscribers! <gasps> what? Wee! <laughs> he gets me! Natari, wait for us! <laughs> and where is Sam? Huh, did they lose their minds? Ouch! Whoa. The dolls got tired running and decided to rest. Every one of them is busy. I wonder what the stars will tell us today. I will create a real primeval masterpiece! You'll see! Where is Rexy? <laughs> Where could she hide? Where are you? Girl, she will never find me. Don't worry, I'm already here. Hey, was I expected here at all? <laughs> Yumi, Sammy, let's go! I'll show you how to make a kite! Is that possible? Shiver me cheddars, I'm in! The body of the kite consists of two cross sticks. We'll lengthen its wings with shorter sticks. And here's what we've got! It's great, isn't it? Give us a thumbs up! And now, let's draw and cut out the wings from foam paper! It's simple. When the wings are ready, let's paint them sky blue. We'll add some fluffy feathers. Wow, lovely! Just look at this beauty! <laughs> and our kite takes off for its first flight! Look, it has already chosen our Natiri as his main friend! Fly, my dragon, fly! <laughs> Let go! I went to the best slime art school! I know how you should draw that! Whee! Wow, what is this? Marvelous! Natiri has found our secret stash with objects from Earth! <laughs> Only our primitive friends have no idea what's what! <laughs> oh, what a wonderful thing! What is it? <laughs> That's a funny hat! <laughs> you very much! In all that fuss, no one noticed how little Natiri disappeared from the view! Our little girl is waiting for a new transformation! And by the way, now she is a teenager! She will definitely need a new outfit. And let's not forget about the Navi's accessories. Well, now Natiri is ready to return home. La la la! Oh! What an interesting boulder! Wow! Natiri solved the mystery of the smartphone! She knows how to take a selfie. By the way, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Sam shouldn't have showed her the game. Now she is stuck to the screen. Hey, Natiri! Hello! Let's go hunting! Uh, she doesn't hear me. Quick! We need to save Natiri from the phone! <gasps> what? Whoa! The help is on its way! Who has such big wings? Whoa! This is my Taruk! Let's fly! Let's go higher! <laughs> what a flight! Let's make our own dragon! 
We twist a piece of thick wire and fix the parts for legs and wings with tape. With the help of thin wire, we form the tail and paws. Oops! Taruk is not very strong yet. Let's add some foil for the volume. Perfect! And now we will form the body with plasticine. Is everyone ready? Bam! That's what you should get! Level the surface so that the seams are not so obvious. Wow, look, our dragon has opened his eyes! And then you need to fry it until it's golden brown! Oh, come on, don't fry, but color it! What is wrong with you? Oops, I guess I googled it wrong! Sorry, Susan! We have already attached foam paper wings. All that's left is to add texture with acrylic paint. Woohoo! We are already on our way to the next adventure! Stay tuned! <laughs> oh, I love my planet Pandora so much! And I still can't get used to it! Ugh, release me! Look! During her strolling, Natiri grew up again! The spirits say it's time to meet Iwa! Great! We already have a glowing nightlight to create a magic tree. Let's knead the clay. Hup, hup, come on, work harder. We'll decorate its foot with the pieces of colored clay. This will be the bark of our magic tree. And to add even more similarity to it, we will make a few furrows. A luminous tree will have a shimmery bark. So beautiful! We'll decorate the branches with pipe cleaners. Just wrap it around the branches like this. The unusual leaves complement the image of the sacred tree. And now let's see how beautifully it glows in the dark! Wow! There's also music here! It's like a radio! And the girls are chit-chatting at a distance. Everything is possible in our fairy tale. Hello, I want to order such a tree to Earth. <gasps> What's the cost? And I have a plan to make my friends happy. How many seeds do you think will be enough? <laughs> Susie, it's your cue. I'm taking over. Let's attach the lights to the garland with lanterns. Wow, our decoration is ready. Let's run to the forest. Susan, hurry up. My friends are already here. <laughs> Where did you take us? All right, I'm gonna open my eyes. Awesome! Look, the whole forest is glowing! I've never seen anything like this in my life! Finally, my friends and I will have a party! Hooray! Would you call a DJ? Even if you didn't, here I am with the music! Um, and these are your dances? Seriously? <laughs> Dancing is so much fun! Sammy, don't grapple, join in! Natiri wants to sleep! Let's make her a spacious hammock. We tie the net to two wooden sticks with strong knots. Let's get it up in the air! <laughs> we'll cover the bottom with large tropical leaves and decorate the hammock with flowering vines. Beautiful and very comfortable! Here we go! Today, everyone played great and fell asleep really quickly. Our characters are seeing the 10th dream already. And it's time for me to go back to Earth! Who misses me? Watch more videos on our channel and subscribe! Bye-bye! Mixing the ingredients. Oh, come on, that's surely not enough. <gasps> I've got an idea. Yeah, now we're talking. Don't be so stubborn, Mr. Crab. It's time to serve science. Look. And the second to last ingredient. Well, Dolly, it's time for the transformation! Oh, 
have patience, my dear. Just a bit more and you'll become the most beautiful mermaid in the world. The moment of truth has come. <laughs> Siri, what's going on? Oopsie. A perfect timing, Sue. This morning I spilled sea salt and in a moment Anderson's fairy tales fell on me. And? And I'm positive that today is the most favorable day for transforming dolls into mermaids. Sammy, what if I show you a more efficient and safe way to do these transformations? Interesting. Oh, hello, guys. The work is humming here. Say hi, Lolita. Very soon, this box will become a house for our LOL doll. Let's get started. Susie, stop! What about the transformation? I mean, a shiny tail, long hair. All in good. Time, I got it, I got it. <laughs> the decoration of our box will imitate the scales. Let's use some lighter scales to reach that iridescent effect. Guys, look how beautiful it came out. Susie, look what I've got. Yes, Sammy, I made it. Oh, you? Why, I think this tail is too big for LOL. <laughs> Sammy, it's a decoration for the LOL doll's house. There. Oh, can we glue some more scales? Sure, Sammy. Yeah! One more so that it sparkles. I'll be back soon and check. Oh, sure, Mr. Checker. Meanwhile, we'll keep working here with our viewers. Right now, we need to cover the side walls. The first stage is done, and it's not a bad start. Seems to me, dear Sue, there's not enough sparkle. There'll be more, just wait. Well, okay, Susie, I believe you. And you guys, write your favorite glitter color in the comments. Now it's time to furnish the mermaid's house. What do you think this is? Mm, smells nice. Is it edible? <laughs> no, silly, it's shampoo. Really? It smells like a real coconut. <laughs> Let's add some colors. And a little bit more. Our Little Mermaid deserves the best. And some aquamarine wouldn't hurt. Now let's make it look like the real sea. Just one little thing remains. We should mix it all very well. Susie, add some more glittering scales to make things absolutely clear. Your wish is my command. It will be the most sparkling bedside table in the world. <laughs> and here's your glitter, Sammy. It's also a nice idea to add some little stars. Wow, this bedside table will be awesome! Right, Sammy? What a beauty! Wait! Where's the bed itself? You'll see in a moment. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. <gasps> wow, such cool colors. Is this the bed for our doll? Yes, I chose it myself. This kid reminds me of the sea, the beach, the palm trees. Oh, by the way. Meanwhile, I need to make a blanket out of this slime. What if we add some seashore feel with this beach umbrella? <laughs> Sammy, mermaids live under the water. <laughs> Right, I didn't think of that. Well, then I'll add this sea feel for myself. And for you, of course. Thanks. I've also got an idea. Guys, we need to glue our file with the tip of the glue gun. Be very careful with hot objects. This is what I keep saying! More sparkle. Sue, you're a genius. Oh, that's especially nice to hear from you, Sammy. Oh, I guess it's time to call Eloita. Okay, right, just don't open your eyes. Ta-da! Here, Lolita, this is your new bed. Let me help and cover you with a blanket. Sue, do you think she likes it? Oh, I think she likes it very much. Aha! Uh -huh. Only, why is she still not a mermaid? All in good time, Sammy. Before transforming our doll, we worked on the interior and exterior of the house a bit more. Now let's move on to our mirror. Sammy, what are you whispering there? Hello, Lita just fell asleep. She needs to have a good rest before the transformation. Wow, you even made a mirror? Yes, this way she can admire her new looks. <laughs> and remember those who helped her, of course. Oopsie. <laughs> Sammy, 
right, it's time for the most important stage, making a mermaid tail for our LOL doll. Phew, Lola is rather whiny today. Maybe new clothes can cheer her up? Wow, is that a real mermaid tail? Exactly. Cool, we've almost made a real transformation. Transfiguration, I'd say. And no one needs to sacrifice anything. Ah, uh, certainly. Look at this cute tail we made. Beautiful. <clears throat> what about the top for the mermaid? <gasps> right, how could I forget? Susie, Susie, I always have to remind you of things. Susie and the sparkling scales. That I didn't forget. Now everything is ready. Susie, do you think mermaids exist for real? Perhaps. Sea creatures like mermaids are mentioned in folklore all over the world, not without a reason. So they exist for sure! Until someone believes in them, they do exist. I do believe. I'll start collecting information about them right now! Oh, that'll be an interesting project, Sammy. I'll be glad to help you with it. Guys, you can also help us. Write in the comments some facts about mermaids you know, and I'll add them to my project. Are you kidding me? Susie! Susie! What's going on? Don't you think the mermaid's missing something? What? Long, beautiful mermaid hair! Right, Sammy, bring the wig right away! Be right back! Mer Slime is here! I think it belongs to Lolita. I know, I was thinking, why don't I transform into a Mer Slime? I think you look perfect just being a slime. Oh, Sammy! Look how adorable she is! Yeah, as a Mer Slime, I wouldn't be so beautiful. And this hair, oh, wonderful! Well, Alolita, our dream has come true. Mwah. Think we can transform her into a mermaid too? Uh, I think that's another story. Guys, I hope you like the transformation of our LOL doll into a long haired mermaid. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give a thumbs up. Bye bye! bye, -bye.